Hello, everybody. How are we doing today? I'm doing. I'm doing pretty well. I think uh, I wasn't fearing, feeling very well last time I spoke with you, but I'm doing better now. Hello, Brody. Thank you for being here. Um, oh, I pointed this out in the last stream. We're on this same route that we were when we ended last stream, and it's the daytime version of the music now. So you can tell the music is a bit more happy. Um, Everything's a bit more subdued at night. It's a really, again, a really cool detail. I just wanted to point it out again. Really, really great. Um, I was, I told my the Discord that uh, we were going to start at 1, but I'm starting just a little bit early because I was just feeling, feeling a little angsty, uh, feeling ready to go. I really wanted to have some fun playing uh, Platinum today. Excuse me. Um, and my wife and I had a great morning. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's great. Here we have our squad. It's a little bit of a ragtag squad. We just have uh, a lot of the early Pokemon you can catch in this game. We have our friend Bidoof here. We have Turtwig, our starter. Um, <laughs> Inclusion, the Starly, which I love. Tom the Shinx, Potato, the Krikatot. Um, we're, we're unlikely to keep all of these Pokemon, but we'll see what happens. And once we step into Orberg Gate here... Um, this guy is, I think, going to give us a little gift. What does, he, what does he have for us? Yes, he gives us the HM, I believe, for Rock Smash. Um, yes, it is. And we're going to be able to learn Rock Smash after we defeat the first gym. So that'll be really cool. Um, it can also be very useful um, in the battle with the gym leader we're going to fight. Um, oh, thank you, Brody. I appreciate that. Ah, here we have Psyduck. Um, Psyduck is, of course, not a Generation 4 Pokemon, um, but could very much come in handy against the Gym Leader. I don't know if it knows any water moves yet. But I'll go ahead and catch it. We've got an open slot here on the squad. Um, there we go. I'll do one more tackle. Perfect. Um, we don't have very many. Yes, we only have two Pokeballs, so let's see what we can do. And Brody, go ahead and load up a, a Psyduck nickname for me if you can. 8 to 10-ish? Awesome. Okay, so for some of these trainers, I'll, I'll put Psyduck in the front. Um, and we can swap train it just a little bit. Absolutely, I will give a nickname to Psyduck. The Duck. Do you want me to name it literally The Duck? I love it. The Space Duck. <laughs> perfect. Where's the K? There it is. The Duck. A perfect name for a Psyduck, really. Um, okay. So let's get the duck up in front. What does the duck have right now? Probably just working with Scratch and Water Sport and Tail Whip. Yep. Um, perfect. We have a couple trainers here as we pass along. Hmm. One thing I want to point out, I got a new shirt today. This is my new Attack on Titan shirt. I think it's so cool. If you know what's going on in this shirt, you know. I'm not going to give anything away because I cherished being able to watch Attack on Titan with zero spoilers. It was so satisfying and wonderful. So, if you have never seen Attack on Titan before, I'm not gonna tell you what that what this shirt means, but it's really cool, and I do love it. Um, <laughs> your favorite psychic type. Wait, what do you mean it's not? Um, I don't know if Gilbert's gonna really be able to hold out here. Luckily, this Starly does not have any flying moves yet, at least not to my knowledge. All right, so yeah, Turtwig can get us going here. There we go. Shinx, let's see what we can do here. Um, I will go ahead and swap train with the duck once again. And let's, we'll get Autumn back. You know, I feel like my light here in my room has been flickering a little bit. I don't know if y'all can notice, if y'all notice that. Um, 
But, uh... There we go, up to level 11 with Autumn. But I think I need to change one of my light bulbs up there. It's a very subtle flicker. Um, still level 6. <laughs> you know it's called Attack on Titan, hey. <laughs> I guess I did spoil that for you. Um, but I still encourage you to watch it, even though you know the title. Um... It is truly one of my favorite shows ever. Um, wow, I feel like Psyduck really didn't get that much experience from that trainer. Um, let's, uh, we'll just, we'll just keep rolling with Autumn. Autumn has been just the consistent member of our squad. Um, I don't want to overlevel it too much, just because, you know, um, it could kind of cheese the first gym a little bit. So I want to spread the love. Um... Perfect. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely weekend. i um, actually going to attend a wedding later, which will be delightful. So let's pop through the Orberg gate here. Oh! Oh yeah. Um, Orberg City's music is a delight, um, and this guy is going to talk to us. I think he's going to tell us to just check out the gym. Yeah, he's like, you better do something about not having any badges. Um, and he'll just walk us straight over to the gym. Mm. And we get to talk to our friend GCG. I don't know if he challenges us to a battle or not. I don't think he does, but... I'm going to go ahead and heal over here at the Pokemon Center while I'm thinking about it. Perfecto. Let's just get that going. Lovely. He doesn't? Huh. Well, hey. At least we're all healed up. Huh? Oh, it's you, SCG. You finally got here. Slow as always. Wow, you're just a spaz as always. Um, interesting. Ah! So our rival just mentioned something, t saying that the gym leader here was tough. I wonder how he compares to my dad. That's foreshadowing something a little bit. This gym, uh, our rival has a kind of important father that we will, uh, that we'll learn about way later. Um, and the gym leader's actually not there. We need to go here. I, this is awesome. Like, this level of detail with, like, the big pile there, you have, like, the coal... Uh, conveyor belt running through the coal mine because the whole deal with Orberg City is that it's like a coal mining town um, and it's just a really cool little detail and I think gives the place a lot of personality you can really see some of the um, kind of new visual opportunities that they had on the new DS system at least new at the time um, which is really neat Let's see, so we have to pop down here into the Orberg Mine because we have to give the gym leader a visit. Um, so let's do that. Ooh, actually, sorry. We're gonna pop up here first. Oh, Brody, that is an absolutely great question. Um, so Brody just asked if I was going to recommend a Pokemon game to someone who doesn't know anything about Pokemon. What game would I recommend? And the answer to that question um, is Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green. Those are the games I would recommend to anyone who has never played Pokemon before. Um, we'll play them on the channel eventually. They are the Generation 3, so like Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald the Generation 3 remakes of Red, Blue, and Yellow. And I just think Generation 3 plays really well, um, very satisfyingly. Um, so it will be easy to jump in for even like uh, younger people who are used to playing way more kind of like graphically advanced games. The Generation 3 games still play really well, even though they're, you know, 20 years old at this point. And it's also an introduction to Kanto, the first region. So that is what I would recommend. 
for someone who has never played Pokemon before. Um, but I mean, you know, there's many routes you can take there. Um, you could play like the OG OG games, Red, Blue, and Yellow, if you wanted to. Um, so here in the Orberg mine, we have some Geodudes around. Um, you can also catch Onyx here, which is one reason why I'm not using our Repel right now. Um, because I might want to pick up an Onyx for the gym fight. I think that could be very useful if we happen to run into one here. Um, but as we do this, I will... Uh... But first, I want to... We have this music here. This kind of like... Like twinkly, mysterious cave music. Yeah, you have this in all everywhere in Generation 4. There's a couple trainers down here too. Um, so we can get that extra level on our friend Psyduck. We'll actually pop down here. <laughs> and Psyduck should be able to get a water move. Is a trainer? Yes. <laughs> and as you can see, that guy, he's standing right in front of a big old hunk of coal. Um, Alright, here really the only Pokemon we have uh, that can do good damage to a Geodude is our starter, Autumn, here with Absorb. <laughs> Um, yeah, my wife and I, we had a really, really nice morning. It was a really beautiful, warm, sunny morning here in Ohio. Um, oh, Machop here, we can do something a little different. Um, and, uh, we got some coffees. And I do really enjoy getting, like, nice, fun coffee drinks, but they often make me a little jittery. Um, so that's kind of where I am right now. Um, actually, let's stay in with Psyduck for a little bit. We'll see if we can use a Tail Whip and... Weaken this. <laughs> Autumn is my goat. I mean, hey, you were the one to you were the one to name him. There we go. Ah, uh, low kick. Don't be a crit. Okay. I did just use focus energy. All right, here we're gonna want to swap out. Um, let's go into inclusion because if it wants to use low kick, inclusion's not very heavy. Ooh, even though, okay, there's the critical hit that I feared. But we'll get the normal type stab here on quick attack. Yeah, just one more will do the trick. And even if this crits, we'll be okay. Lovely. Perfect. Oh, almost got to level eight there. <laughs> I cry mercy. Um, and here is our friend Rourke. He is the gym leader of Orberg City. Oh, and he shows us how to use Rock Smash. It looks so delightfully satisfying in this game. Um, <laughs> and Rourke is such a good name for a rock-type gym leader. Oh, there are just many, 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 and I mean many, great puns in the Pokemon franchise. It's like a masterclass in punnage. <laughs> um, all right. So we'll keep walking around here. I think we'll... Okay, great. I think I thought there was one more fight that we can do against the uh, construction workers down here. And this should probably get side up to a nice level 8. Which I'm hoping you're correct, Brody, and this is the level where Psyduck's going to learn Water Gun. Oh, not quite. Not quite. That's all right, though. I suppose I could look it up. Let me do that right now, actually. Um, so as we kind of get into the early game here in Platinum, um, a lot of the squad I have planned we just can't get until a little bit later. Um, learns Water Gun at 9. So you were correct. Literally directly in between 8 and 10. 
we're just kind of going to go with the flow as far as our team uh, as far as our team goes. Um, as you can tell, I'm just I'm just kind of catching some stuff um, to support us for the gym fight, just because Turtwig is really gonna be the heavy lifter, heavy lifter there. Um, hmm, I actually have a little bit of a strategy if we can run into an Onyx. Uh, let's see, because I'm pretty sure down here is the only place where you can find Onyx. We could catch a Geodude as well. If we run into another level 9 Geodude... Oh, there he is. Or she is, rather. Let's see. Let's do this. Oops, Rock Throw. Okay. So this Onyx already has Rock Throw. Yeah, we'll do this for now. Um, because pretty much any... Um, any grass move, if I use an absorb on this onyx, it will get destroyed in one hit. Um, so really my plan here is just to lower its defenses as much as I can, and this is being complicated by Harden. There we go. Name onyx, absolutely, can do. Um, we'll use Autumn's Tackle. If I can just get this onyx into the yellow, it'll take me a second, but we should be in decent shape to catch it. If I can get a nice critical hit or something. Okay. Absolutely. Lower its attack just a little bit with Shinx. Let's see what I can do here from here. This might still be a little bit too strong. Yeah, he pops out, or she pops out. Um, let's see. I'll just keep chipping away extraordinarily slowly. And I'll just let Tom keep going. There we go, yes. Um, okay, so we're not trying to die. So let's see if I can catch Onyx now. Perfect. And oddly enough, Potato's probably gonna get subbed out here. Yes! Onyx with a Y. Onyx the Onyx. And our first Pokemon to be transferred to the PC. So let's get the heck out of here. Do, do, do. Oh, this music just rocks. All right, let's heal the squad because we really took a beating there. There was just no good way to weaken that Onyx. Um, all right. Uh, yes, the... PC system here works a lot like Generation 3, which we love. Um, so I'll go ahead and drop Potato off. Good work, Potato. And while we are at it... Um, oh, the new look bag here. You can really see what you're about to go to because you have those little icons. Um, so, like, the little pouch is regular items, you have healing items, and then into Pokeballs, TMs, berries, mail. It's just really, really well laid out. I love it. Um, so we have Rock Smash here. It is a weaker fighting move, but it's actually really good to be able to use on our Onyx. Um, because here in the gym fight, Onyx is going to be able to... Um, resist a lot of the moves in the gym while delivering super effective damage with Rock Smash. Um, I'll probably teach it to Gilbert also. There we go. Because um, Gilbert is a great HM friend. All right. Yes, appreciate you, Brody. Educating the public. 
I always remember this gym is kind of like the first big showcase of the 3D capabilities of this new game, because you can kind of go up and down the levels. Um, I always remembered this very lightly, lightly amazed me as a child. Um, but let's see, we're going to start with our friend the duck, because we want to get it to level 9 to learn more again. And we'll swap train. Just a singular Geodude. Should be one absorb. Oop, two absorbs, I suppose. There you have it. All right. Lovely. So if we get our side up to level 9, which we should in this battle, just a simple two little trainers here in the gym, much like you'd see in any other Pokemon game. We should be in pretty good shape. Still no. Still no one shot there. That's interesting. Maybe I have a low special attack Turtwig. And that's no big deal. Alright, so we'll swap in the duck. And with the experience from this Onyx, it'll hit level 9. And we'll be in pretty good shape. the little things guys that just delighted me very much and it was a one shot as we predicted all right and that'll give us water gun which we love perfect um hmm. let's pop out of here because i think <laughs> the scary rock man um, the ace of this gym leader can be very tough. Um, up here, if I'm not mistaken, you can find Ponyta up here. Maybe I am mistaken. Um, and I know there's a hidden item somewhere. It might be up there. Ah, Machop. Machop would come in great handy against the gym leader as well. Um... Um, especially with uh, the Rock Smash HM we just got, but I think we're I think we're doing pretty well. Yes, here is Ponyta. Um, pretty good access to an early Fire type Pokemon. I I might try to catch this just for gigs. Oh, there we go. Just really enjoy Ponyta. And you know, it's funny. Um, <laughs> that's right, Brody. Um, this is actually funny. I'm actually going to pick the name for this Ponyta. Um, we always talk about how Bellsprout reminds me of my wife. Well, Ponyta and Rapidash also remind me of my wife. So this Ponyta will be my honorary wife for this playthrough. Um... Ah, and there's the Pokeball. We get it right back. So I thought there was a trainer up here we can battle, but I guess not. I guess I just remember grinding up here a little bit. There we go. Let's get out of here. Perfecto. So this is going to be very standard for an early early game team in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, for sure. 
Um, but first things first, we're gonna start with, we'll start with the duck. Um, excuse me. Because our gym leader here um, has a Geodude and an Onyx, which is very par for the course for an early game rock gym leader. But uh, like I said, his ace is actually kind of scary. So uh, we'll see how we do. If we ever save. There we go. Um, <laughs> of course you can't. Um, oh, hello! <laughs> I was here. Thank you for following. Um, all right. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna challenge this fella. Welcome. This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. Um, so he's gonna see our potential as a trainer. New gym leader music, baby. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. They're usually bangers. Um, so with our new water gun, we're gonna be sitting pretty against this here, Geo dude. Do, 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 do. Uh, the duck should actually be good enough to sweep the first two Pokemon, but I am actually going to go out of my way to use Turtwig against the Onix here um, because we might be able to uh, hit level 13. Should definitely be. We actually have a very nice team for this gym right now. Ah, and here is Stealth Rock. This is the signature TM of this gym. Um, it is like an entry hazard, so it functions a lot like spikes, um, where when you swap your Pokemon in, you will take damage. Um, it's actually a, It was actually a really good competitive move. Um, I think it still is. But it was introduced in Generation 4. Ooh, what game do I think has the best gym leaders? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm always partial to Generation 2. I'd really have to think about that. Um, maybe Gen 1, if I'm being completely honest. Their gym leaders are really strong, kind of top to bottom. And I know it was they were the OGs, but... Ooh, and we get Razor Leaf. That's going to be really nice for the last Pokemon, too. All right, so Rourke's last Pokemon is a Cranidos, um, which is a fossil Pokemon. It's like a little T-Rex. It's awesome. Um, and Cranidos actually, for a first form Pokemon, has extremely high attack. So we, oh, there he is, are going to do a pro play right now. We're going to send in Shinx to use our Intimidate to lower that attack. I'm so smart. I'm a... I'm a I'm a competitive gaming master with that move. Um, and we're probably just going to kind of let Tom die here, unfortunately. And there it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, Gen 2... Gen 2, the levels are really messed up. There we go. Mmm. This is something I have not pointed out yet. And I'll actually be able to illustrate it here. So here we have Autumn the Turtwig, and Absorb is a special move, whereas Grass moves were always special attacks in Gens 1, 2, and 3. But in Generation 4, they introduced something called the Physical Special Split, where if a move would be a physical move, like, let's say, Fire Punch, that would literally be you're physically punching something. In Generation 4, they're like, it makes sense for that to use regular attack, not special attack, like it did previously. So in Generation 4, they kind of split the moves up. So, for example, Absorb is a special grass move, but Razor Leaf is a physical grass move. Um, and it introduced a whole new level of how these games and attacks work. Um, and there is a huge Razor Leaf for the win, baby! Um, very good. So that was a very clean, uh, Rourke fight, guys. 
By sending in Shinx, we were really able to eat those moves from Cranidos. And Autumn's a bit over-leveled, because we're using him, using him a lot. Ah, oh, went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single badge. Hmm. Alright, so we can use Rock Smash out of battle, which rocks. Ha! Huh, literally rocks. And more literally rocks, we get Stealth Rock, like I was describing. W for Autumn. I did want to split up the experience on that Cranidos, actually. I did not expect Razor Leaf to knock it out in one shot. Um, but I'll also kind of show you a little more what I was talking about um, with the physical special split. If you go here and look at their moves, you see that little kind of like yellow star with the red around it right above where it says the power um and there you see the kind of purple circles there that denotes that it's a special move and the yellow star thing denotes that it's a physical move so that's just kind of how that works um let's see and yeah turtwig's attack is slightly higher so that's probably why razor leaf did more damage also it's just a more powerful move Okay, so in the front, I'm actually going to have Gilbert. Let's see here. And we can go heal the squad, because we can continue on our journey. A very nice W for the, w for the squad. Ah, excuse me. All right, here, we're gonna save though, because I have some anxiety. All right, so here is a new feature of this game that I love. Um, you have our trainer card here. If you look at my little screen on the bottom, you have all the gym leaders right there, which is really cool. And if you open this little thing, there is our first badge. And what you can do is you can do this little thing, sorry. I'm using my mouse to shine my badge. And the cleanest you can get it, right now it has two sparkles. The cleanest you can get any of your badges is four sparkles, I'm pretty sure. Um, yes, there it is. And if you click it, it makes a little noise. Um, and as we get more badges, you can play, just play little tunes. It sounds like a little xylophone. It's just a cute little detail that they put in this game that I actually really love and if you don't shine them after a while they'll get all kind of like dark and dim it's just really cute all right um okay <laughs> yeah well i thought i thought crany dose would have higher defense rather than special defense which is why i thought it might not kill it but uh turtwig is just too strong all right Ooh, is there a item in this rock no, there should be. Oh, I did kind of want to point out over here. Um, we actually can't continue north here because there's kind of like one of those mock bike slopes that we can't quite get up, and that's what this guy would tell us. All right, so let's pop over this way. I believe we're going to see our arrival here. Ah, and I'm correct. Eterna City is the next place with a badge. Ah, yes, and he is telling us right now that you couldn't go there without a bicycle. I'm already ahead of you, buddy. Um, I thought maybe we would battle him there, but we don't. Not yet. Um, one thing we can do here in the Orberg Gate, we can use our first repel. And I'm actually going to pop up here because we can use Rock Smash to go to a different area. Aha. All right, so you go down here, and there's actually um, these little puzzles, if I can show it. Um, let's just go through here. There we go. And you have this, these little ramps, and you need a bicycle to go over these little ramps to jump over that boulder right there. So we can't do everything down here yet, uh, but we can grab this big pearl, get a lot of money. 
Um, and there might be another item or two we can grab. And there's obviously water down here as well that you can, um, let's see. Come on, Gilbert. There you go. Uh, yes, there's another item. Goodness gracious. All right, I should swap Gilbert out from the front if we're going to be running into stuff. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, Tech, hello! Thank you for being here today. Oh, my gosh. Um, really appreciate seeing you. Oh, I'm so glad. I know you were saying you were excited about Platinum, um, and then that's when we started the Battle Frontier thing. So here's Flash. Um, Flash is actually a TM in this game, not an HM. You can still use it outside of battle, it's just not um, required to further the story. Um, but yes, Tech, again, thank you for being here. Um, yes, Platinum is so, so great. Crystal's your favorite, though. That's kind of where you joined us, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. So we got a couple nice items there in the Orberg gate. We can come back and get some more later. All right. There's this happy music. Oh my gosh, yes. Brilliant Diamond does not hold up to Platinum. I think Platinum is the best way to experience the Sinnoh games. Um, so here's Looker, um, and he's kind of telling us about this thing called the POW pad, which we're not going to really worry about too much, um, because I'm pretty sure that has to do with kind of like trading and battling um, friends, which we're not going to be doing here. Um, I'm going to see if I can buy more repels, though, if they have any. Yes, that would be great. Let's buy a couple. And I'll also buy a couple of escape ropes, because they're always, or I'll just buy one. Always nice to have. Alright, ooh, super potions. I'm just going on a shopping spree. And I can actually sell that big pearl that we had, which is exists to be sold. So now we can buy even more stuff. Okay. There we go. We're sitting pretty. Um, <laughs> no, hey, I... Listen, I mean, I bought the game too. I wanted to play it. And Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are often criticized um, because I feel like they... Uh, let's see. Oh, I brought... I, I got uh, Brilliant Diamond. I played Diamond as a kid, so I went with Brilliant Diamond. Um... And, uh, you know, a lot of people criticize them because they probably should have taken more of the platinum elements rather than diamond and pearl, just because we've talked a lot about it so far, but there's a lot of kind of like regional Pokedex problems in the original diamond and pearl that they fix in platinum, or at least largely fix. Um, but, uh, oh, nice. Um... But, uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, I think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Par Pearl do still have some um, relevance and some really good things that they do. Like, I really like how um, they make the Elite Four in those games pretty challenging. I think they do a good job of giving them some kind of like competitive strategies that make them a bit tougher, specifically uh, the champion. Um, and I like that they do some cool stuff with the underground, which is neat. Um, all right, so let's pop over here because our friends, Professor Rowan and Dawn, are dealing with these uh, weird blue-haired people with some, with some bowl cuts and they are trying to steal some research notes. So here, we have to save our friends from these, uh, from these weirdos. Um, all right. We demand you comply with our demands. Oof. And 
Professor Rowan is just like, you two need to learn some manners. Um, oh, what is those outlandish outfits you have on? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to help them out and we're going to take care of these fools. Team Galactic, they call themselves. Ooh. And this is Team Galactic. They are the evil team of this game. And we're going to fight them with Dawn, which is delightful. And these are two Pokemon we have not seen before. Glam Meow and Stunky. Um, really nice to see some new Generation 4 Pokemon here. Ah, fake out. Very annoying. <laughs> Don't get the coconut hair. I agree. Dawn's Piplup with the nice spread move there. Um, I'm actually going to swap out here. We'll go into Onyx. Perfect. Ah, we get poisoned. Onyx should be able to tank their moves pretty well, thankfully. Let's see. Excuse me. But Team Galactic is very interesting. Um, I feel like after Generation 4, the developers kind of struggled with where to take the criminal teams of each game. Um, because in Generation 1, the, uh, the criminal teams are very, like, kind of like base level, very just like, we're gonna sell Pokemon on the black market. Very kind of like... Mafia type. Um, and then, you know, Team Rocket continues in Generation 2, and in Generation 3, you have this more kind of like man versus nature thing going on. But Team Galactic takes things in a very interesting place, um, and I'm excited to show that to you. Yeah, like literally Yakuza. Yes, you're correct, Tech. Um, Alright, probably could have just used, I was about to say Rock Throw there would have been better, but that's alright. All right, our grunts go down. Perfect. Ah, you leave us no option, we will retreat for now. Team Galactic is benevolent to all. I don't know about that. Um, ooh. So Team Galactic seems to be studying the power of Pokemon's uh, evolution energy. Very interesting. Oh, it's unforgivable. All right. So he's telling us that you did a really good job fighting off those fools. Maybe you should just go ahead and collect all the badges, which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, ooh, and what does this fella do? Ah, oh, you're from Jubilife TV. Oh, he gives us a fashion case. I think this is this is for something later in the game that we're probably not going to deal with. Um, it has chic accessories and tasteful back backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, yes, Brody, you're so right. Um, all right, so as you can see, our Onyx is poisoned. If you look at our little screen, it's like kind of grayed out to tell that it has a status, which is neat. And we have our classic little I'm poison thing. But there is a new thing that they introduced in Gen 4. Onyx survived the poisoning and the poison faded, faded away. So in previous generations, if your Pokemon was poisoned, it would lose hit points until it fainted, until uh, it was down to zero. But in this game, they make it so that you can't like white out in the overworld. Um, so if your Pokemon is poisoned, it will whittle its HP down all the way to one, and then the poisoning will just go away. So then you don't have to worry about dying when you're walking around. Um, that was kind of like a little quality of life um, thing that they introduced in Generation 4, which I kind of like. I think it's, it's pretty convenient and still doesn't take away from like what the poison status does, I think. Perfect. Um, 
Yeah, the ball seals. You know, Tech, that is something that I never really messed with, so maybe we'll have to this time around. Um, because in this game, they introduce these little seals that you can put on your Pokeballs, so when you send out a Pokemon, it will, uh, have a cool little animation from the Pokeball that it doesn't normally have. Um, and this fella gives us a good rod. Not a good rod. An old rod. So we can, uh, catch a Magikarp if we want to. Um, let's see. But we're not really worried about that this game. Um, there is... I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, we're not going to catch one. Um, but you can catch a Feebas in this game. There's another, like, special spot in this game, much like Generation 3, where you can catch Feebas. Um, it's, it's far later in the game. But when we get there, I'll point it out to you. Um, oh, hello! Yes, thank you, Tech. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, you're so wonderful. Thank you. Um... And that is a part of the map that we can't progress to yet, because we need to be able to surf. So we're not too worried about that yet. Um, so, yeah, let's continue north here, gang. We still got a nice... Hello, Ethan! How's it going? Um, so let's go ahead and save. There's a few trainers up here that we could have fought earlier if we needed to. <laughs> As you can see, their levels are just a little bit lower. Don't have Intimidate. Great. It does not. So let's work our way quickly through these. Oh, nice critical hit, Gilbert. Perfect. Um, yes, this fellow can challenge us. I believe there's an item there behind him. Classic Magikarp. Just splashing and doing nothing. One more will do it. And there we go. All right. So here's a hidden item down here, probably. Very conspicuous. Oh. Um, do, 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 do. Um, so this I am using um, Open EMU. Um, oh, there isn't an item down here. Oh, I think I already grabbed it. Um, let's see. Ah, yes. Yes, deck. I see. Um, but yeah, this is open EMU. I have a Mac computer. I think that is uh, a Mac-only emulator, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so now, we can fight a couple more trainers here. <laughs> Alright. Ah, a Badoo. I really enjoy Badoo. I really enjoy what they did for the Roselia line in this game. I think I've talked about it a little bit already the first episode, but um, we will see more later. We will see more later. Tech, you're, you're telling me, buddy. I wish I had all the cash as well. But I appreciate you a lot. It's very nice of you. Um, let's see. <laughs> Secretly Bezos. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would be so funny. Um, so here's the Ravaged Path. Um, and let's use a... We'll use a Repel here. Um, because we can pop up here and use Rock Smash and hopefully grab an item. And Rock Smashing to the right there is how we progress. Yes, there is Surf to do more, but we can pick up the TM for Rock Tomb, which is really nice. I won't waste that on Onyx just yet, because Onyx isn't going to stay on our team forever. So this Rock Smash right here was a reason that we could not progress um, until we went over to Orberg and defeated the gym. Just kind of where the game routes us. All right. So we are making our way to the next town. What do you have to say? I am raising different types of Pokemon, buddy. I am. Don't worry. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to kill Onyx. <laughs> Let's see. All right, Badoo, terrible, terrible matchup for our Onyx, however. Um, all right, let's get Inclusion in here. Because we always want to include people. Uh, 
There we go. Lovely. <laughs> Kill the rock snake. Um, ah, Cheruby. Another delightful little grass type. Um, we'll get Gilbert in here for Cheruby. <laughs> yeah. We had someone in here. Uh, our friend Impotent Grandma. I, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that name. Uh, they named our they named our friend um, Inclusion, which I found very funny. Um, okay, I actually don't like that at all. We'll get Inclusion back in here because this Cheruby wants to set up some growths and try to get those grass moves really, really strong. Oh, I'm gonna use tackle anyway. How about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sure they will. They're in the Discord. I'm sure they'll be back when they can be. Let's see. Ooh, wing attack, lovely. There you go, Gilbert. Um, I don't know if there's many new Pokemon that we can catch up here. Uh, this would be great for Onyx. This is a bug catcher, it seems like. Staraptor is the goat. I do, but I... I have a plan for something a little bit cooler. Um, and you'll see. You'll see. I am really enjoying this early game, guys. Um, I think my light was really flickering there. Perfect. Ah, Cricketuck once again. Yes, dude. The shiny Kyogre was crazy. Um, that was so cool. Um, let's get Autumn in here. We'll switch train with Onyx, actually. Because I don't want to give all of our experience to these Pokemon that we're not going to use. Um, and while it hardens, we'll just... Or while it bides, we'll just use a couple of those. Oops. I was about to say, that should kill in one shot, especially with a Screech. Um, yeah, if you all have not... If anyone watching this has not checked out our Emerald Finale, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, okay. So we have a double battle here. We'll have Turtwig up front. Um, we'll double team with the duck. Oh, perfect. Ah, and they can actually walk together. You think I'm going to use Gliscor? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Ah! Oh, here is Pachirisu. I actually really enjoy Pachirisu. I think it's very cute. It's kind of like the Pikachu clone of this generation. Um, it is essentially Pikachu if Pikachu was a squirrel. It is kind of annoying that it doesn't evolve. Um, I don't really like that. Um, ah, Razor Leaf, wonderful spread move there. Um, yeah, dude, you're so right. Um, like you'll have to, you'll have to forgive me a little bit, folks. Um, just because the way that the Generation 4 games can be on emulators. They can be a little bit weird visually, some, especially in the overworld. So just sorry, you'll have to bear with me on that. Um, wow, double crit. Delightful. Yeah, our second team is going to be fire. Um, all right. All right. Perfecto. I actually don't remember what wild Pokemon you can catch right here. 
Um, I want to say this is the spot in the game where you can pick up some Burmies if you are uh, so inclined. Ooh, a nice TM for Bullet Seed. We don't really need that because Turtwig's already sitting sitting pretty nicely with uh, um, Absorb and Razor Leaf. Oh, Burmy is Honey Tree. Yeah, you're right, Ethan. Um, so here we have a Cut Tree. They return. Um, but we cannot cut yet, so we'll have to come back for that. I love the sign here. I think it looks so delightful. Um, and we're walking here. Into Floroma Town. Floroma Town, because you see all the pretty and beautiful little flowers. Fields and fields of flowers here in Floroma Town. And impeccable vibes impeccable vibes um ah yes absolutely um in the remakes you can get Mew and Jirachi here which is insane ah let's see all right so, ooh, we can get some berries, which is nice. So we'll keep going here um, for a little bit. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you can get the kind of like watering can here, much like we got the Whalemer Pail in Gen 3. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Okay, she gives me an Aspear Berry. Ah, yes, she gives me the Spray Duck. Um, so instead of a Whalemer Pail, it is a Psyduck-themed <laughs> watering can. And in the bottom left there, you can see how delightfully stupid that looks. Um, all right. Um, so there's some stuff that we need to do here, but we're going to pop over this way to begin. Um, first of all, I'm going to save. Got some anxiety, of course, as always. All right. So let's grab a couple more berries. Lovely. <laughs> You're so right, Tech. Um, all right, so, oops. Here we have this little girl. She's standing in the middle of the road. And she's like, whoa, dude, stop. I need your help. Um, she wants to see her papa. They live at the Valley Windworks. But then people dressed like spacemen came. Um, and as you can see, they're blocking our way up here, so we can't continue through the game until we pop over here to the right, which I love the Valley Windworks. I love how they have those, these uh, windmills here. Um, and we have to fight this guy um, to continue through the story. There's a nice little uh, Team Galactic section here. Um, but first, I want to pop into this grass because I'm pretty sure... Ah! Here we do have a new Pokemon I wanted to shout out. We have Shellos. Um, Shellos is a new water type Pokemon. Um, I don't really want to use one in this game. Um, just because they're pretty common, you know. Um, if But if you are playing your playthrough of Pokemon Platinum, Shellos is a great Pokemon to use. Um, I believe it's a water and ground type. I know it becomes a water and ground type. And here is another great water type Pokemon that you can use in your playthrough of uh, Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. This is Buizel. It's a very kind of like important person for this gener- or important Pokemon for this generation. It is of course kind of like a water weasel. It's very cute, very fast Pokemon. Um, and we're gonna catch this just because I think it's fun. Um, and we'll sub out the duck just because, uh, you know, we'll give precedent to some of the new Pokemon that we, we can find here. Um, so let's see if we can catch it. Boom. Ah! I thought that was going to be it. All right, there we go. Tech, you want to name this one? Weasel's probably not going to stay. Name him Turbine. Love it. Spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through water. The tails also slice clinging seaweed. Very cool. So this will be Turbine. Turbine the Weasel. 
Um, oops. Yeah, I'm really, uh, this playthrough I'm having a really nice time just kind of catching everything we see. Delightful little time. Um... Um, because there is another Pokemon I kind of wanted to shout out here. Right here, Pachirisu. Um, we just had our battle with Pachirisu. I actually kind of want to use one, at least for a, uh, a portion of our playthrough here. Um, I'll just use Withdraw. Get some of our HP back from this bide. Um, but yeah, I want to use a Pachirisu a little bit in this playthrough. I think it could be fun. Um, I've never really used one before. So, again, I don't know if it's going to stay with us forever, but I think it'll be fun to have on the squad for a while. Um, so let's get a Pachirisu name if you've got one. Mm. Still nothing. There we go. Skitter! Oh, I love that name for a Pachirisu. That is delightful. Um, okay. Yes. We have Skitter. The Pachirisu. What am I doing? There we go. Diddly -diddly. All right. So let's fight this fella. Uh, I'll use Gilbert to begin. I won't even heal the squad. I will save, though. Especially because we caught those new team members. Alright. So here, don't you dare go into Valley Vin Windworks. I have ordered to keep anyone out who's not Team Galactic. Alright, so we got to battle him for it. Yeah, we'll go just a little bit longer than usual today. <laughs> nice little Saturday stream. We've got Glamia going. <laughs> yeah, Tom has seen no action. And, well, I will say, Tom was... Uh, Tom was... Ooh, just hit my desk. Um, Tom was imperative in our victory against... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? Cranny Dose by lowering that attack with Intimidate. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So we're just gonna slowly, ooh, glammy eye with a hypnosis using that curly Q tail of tail of hers. Um, we'll put an autumn. We'll get some absorbs going. Can I outlast the scratch? I think I can. Ugh, not if you put me to sleep. Put my whole squad to sleep. Hmm. Alright, I do still have Rock Smash here. Alright. There we go. This guy's just got one glam meow. He's not he's not too not too crazy to deal with. So Autumn's actually very close to evolving, which makes me happy. Alright. <laughs> Getting owned by some kid. So he's talking about having the works key. Um, <laughs> so he'll close the door and it is locked. So we actually have to go somewhere to get that works key. And lucky for us, I've played this game many times before. I'm gonna run right by that girl and I know exactly where to get our works key. But first things first is I'm gonna grab a couple of the new squad members that we caught. Just pop in here. Oops, not that. There we go. Um, so we have Turbine. Oop, not Jump. Don't even know what I'm doing anymore. And then we have Skitter. We'll get Tom out of there. Good work, Tom. Salute you. And we got a heal. All right. So we're gonna use our, we're gonna lead with our friend Pachirisu. I think, 
don't think we have any electric attacks going right now. Oh, it does have pickup though. That's delightful. The classic Zigzagoon ability. So we'll see what we can get from that. All right. So here we have more galactic goons. They are trying to get honey uh, from this guy and they want to attract Pokemon in great numbers with the sweet honey that this farm produces. Um, excuse me. So we're gonna fight these Team Galactic Grunts so they'll leave this guy alone. Um, a charm as normal as Curse. No, I get that. All right, we can at least split here. Some experience. Yeah, Pachirisu is not doing much here. We will, uh, we'll get Onyx in. Um, I imagine so. That poison gas. He's just screeching Onyx all day long. Lovely. Alright. So then we got another grunt to defeat. I imagine he only has... One weak little Pokemon, much like that Stunky. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying now, Tech. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Um, it might not show it right away, because sometimes you need to, like, switch screens or kind of, like, refresh the screen in a way for it to show up. Um, <laughs> that is a really interesting way to rationalize Screech. If I scream at this rock, maybe it'll get weaker. That's hilarious. Um... So obviously Pachirisu's not really not really eaten yet, because um, we gotta we gotta get an electric attack for it to really be worth its uh, worth its salt here. Uh, but we can take out this Zubat on our own. It's gonna be a little bit of an annoying little process here, especially if I keep hurting myself. But oh my goodness, that's a tight four in a row. You love to see it. You love to see four in a row. That is so good. Um, all right, there we go. Uh, <laughs> maybe if I look at this rock, it'll get weaker. That is Lear, you're so right, that's so funny. Guys, that is six times in a row we've been hurt uh, by confusion. Just so, just so we're all aware. Seven, yep, in a row, in a row. Ugh. All right, I'm not letting Skitter die. Um, let me use Gilbert. Finally! My goodness. <laughs> and another Zubat. You're just trying to make me mad. All right, Skitter. Don't worry, I'll just bring in Big Bad Onyx for this one. We're not messing around. There we go. Beautiful little one-shot there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure when Skitter learns its first electric-type move. This brat's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. We're done here, man. So they leave behind the works key. So it looks like now we're going to be able to get into the Valley Windworks. Um, and uh, yes, of course, this guy is very uh, appreciative of getting those guys away from him. Um, so he gives us some honey. And honey is really interesting in this game. If you put honey on a special honey tree, which you can't miss them, they're yellow, um, you can find Pokemon. And... There are some Pokemon that are crazy rare via Honey. Um, Heracross is one of them, which is like, you know, in Gen 2 you found them by headbutting trees. Here you find them by putting Honey on the trees. Um, and we talked about Munchlax as well. Um, uh, Snorlax's new pre-evolution to this generation. That's how you find them, and they are very, very hard to find via Honey Tree. We will not be doing any of that <laughs> this playthrough just because it's uh i don't hate myself but um we will point it out of course 
<laughs> my sweet, sweet honey. Um, let's see. So the squad's looking pretty, pretty toy, pretty nice. Um, and what do you think, guys? Do you want to see me take on the Valley Windworks, or should we save it for next episode? I feel like I know the answer, but what do you think? The RTC function. I don't know if I know what you mean, buddy. Do it. All right, Ethan. You convinced me. All right. So we're going to pop in here to the Valley Windworks. Um, we have a nice little galactic thing. Oh, real-time clock for berries and trees. I think so. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure because that is how we found, like, um, like we were able to do, like, the Union Cave Lapras and Crystal. Is that what you mean? Um, which, this music... We're sleuthing in here. Come on. All right, so we got some battles. All right, a classic Zubat. And as we learned, we don't want to mess around. We just want to smash this thing with a rock and call it a day. Um, not all of my playthroughs. Um, Emerald, I had to do something a little different, um, because for some reason the sound wasn't working for my Game Boy Advanced games, um, for OpenEMU, so I downloaded a different emulator for that. Um, but OpenEMU is what I usually have been using. I use that for Yellow and Crystal. Um, alright, lovely. So we have another battle up here. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll see what we can do with Turtwig here. Because if we can get Turtwig to level 14, or 15, or <laughs> 16, rather, that might be a good thing. Ah, yes, lots of Lepa Berries. Um... Yes, that could be very, uh, very useful for us. All right, Stunky. Yeah, we'll switch. Probably not in the cards yet. Um, all right. We'll use Onyx here. All right, that's good. I like to see that, actually. That could come in handy for the last fight that we have to do here. And forgive me, I'm going all the way back to Floroma Town here to heal the squad, um, because um, this next fight that we have in the Valley Windworks, it is kind of one of the sneakiest, toughest kind of boss fights that I remember, at least in my early times playing these games. Um, especially when I first played Diamond and Pearl, I always remember this fight to be really tough. And we'll, you know, I say that and we'll probably breeze, th breeze through it this time. Uh, but we'll start with Onyx. Um, let's see. Let's save the game. But I actually really like this fight. This here is Commander Mars. And she is one of Team Galactic's three commanders, or four, she corrects herself. Um, they're trying to create a new world that's better than this one. Ooh, it's kind of crazy. Um, and she has awesome red hair, and she has a really cool pose when she comes out. She has this awesome, like, she just holds out the Pokeball like that. It's really cool. Um, I like Mars a lot. But yeah, this fight is kind of notorious, so um, we'll see what we can do here. Um, all right. And this, yeah, this Zubat has Toxic, which is a real step up. Um, I'm hoping we can take this thing out in two rock throws. Ah, it's gonna be three. Which is unfortunate. Ooh, what do you think you're doing to my Pokemon, she says. It's even got Bite, which can flinch us. 
and can ugh, really wanted a high roll there. I don't know if she has any potions. I will use a rock throw just in case. All right, she won't use one here. Thankfully. Perfect. All right. So we're in decent shape here. Um, but her next Pokemon is the scary one. She has what you're going to see on the bottom here is a Perugly, which is the evolved form of Glammeow. Um, I'm actually going to use Skitter. We're going to hit it with a Charm to really weaken that attack power. And as you can see, this thing is ugly. Um, but it can do some real damage if you're not careful. So let's see if I can even get a charm off. Please don't kill me. Great. That's actually really big that we can get a charm in. Um, yes, Perugly is... Tech, you pointed this out. This is great. Perugly is crazy fast. Um, don't really know why. <laughs> but it is very fast. And being able to uh, lower its attack power by two stages is really going to help us. And this faint attack is really good coverage for it. And... Uh, we've kind of talked about this a little bit. In previous generations, uh, Faint Attack, a Dark-type move, would be special. But here in Platinum, it is a physical move, so we got to be real careful. So really, my strategy here is to kind of weaken it as much as I possibly can. Um, kind of weaken its stats. Um, because right now it's minus three on attack. And if I can weaken its stats a lot, um, then I can send in Turtwig to kind of come out and finish it when it can't really hit us too hard. Um, and if we make this a nice team effort, we should be sitting, we should be sitting nicely. But yeah, this this cat's tough. I didn't want to take it lightly. Um, let's see. We can, we can let, oops, nope, can't run. <laughs> no! There we go. Um, we'll let, we'll let Gilbert take the fall here, that's okay. The physical special split, you're right, it's so great. Um, all right, so now, Autumn's in a pretty good spot, I think, to kind of come in and help us get the kill. Uh, because I think it's, attack is gonna be down five stages at this point. As you can see, we're really eating that scratch. And you might be kind of scoffing at Scratch being a scary move, but on a Perugly, you'll get stab damage from the Scratch. It could be really strong, so we don't want to mess around. And we're hoping to get one of those famous Razor Leaf critical hits. There it is! Perfect! And that'll finish it off. Good work. Oh, not quite evolving yet, but that's okay. Big W, that's right. <laughs> An uppity brat, she called me. All right. So we have this guy, Charon, over here. My, my, lose to a child, will you? But no matter, we've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we've obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. Hmm, interesting. Um... Ooh, the boss is the only person who can order me around. So then Team Galactic goes away, but this guy is that girl's dad, and he is the scientist that works here in the Valley of Windworks. Um, so he is grateful to us for saving him, and his daughter pops in here, which is lovely. <laughs> Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. You need a shower. Which, I mean, man. Harsh little girl. Ah, the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. That's actually really interesting. I'm going to uh, tell you guys about that a little bit later in our playthrough. Um, let's see. All right, Ethan, you want to hear the chicken noise? I think I have this set to once a stream for a reason, because it could get very annoying. But here it comes. <clears throat> there you go. And here, of course, we have Looker. He's looking into Team Galactic and their nefarious schemes. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. <laughs> no problem. I live to please. Um, all right, Looker is making us wait outside for him. 
Ah, Team Galactic's hideout is in Eterna City, he says. And thankfully, that is going to be... Yes, survive poisoning again. Uh, thankfully, that is going to be the place where the next gym is. So I'm going to heal here. And, uh, folks, this has been a nice long episode. This is about as long as I go. I just had a little extra time today. So um, it's been really fun. I really appreciate you guys uh, being here with me. I'll pick up a couple of these. Um, let's see. Oops. A few more repels. A few more Pokeballs. There we go. Um... So right here will be a great place to stop. We will uh, continue past this bridge um, our next time through. Um, yes, you have a good rest of your day, Brody. Appreciate you stopping in. Um, but everybody, this has been so great. Um, thank you for being here, Tech. I'm really, really glad to see you. Ethan, thanks for being here. Everybody who stopped in, um, it's been lovely. Uh, next stream should be on Monday, and I think I'm pretty positive we're finally going to finish Yu-Gi-Oh! That's going to be really fun. Um, but, as always, thank you for being here. This has been a delightful time. I will see you all next time. Have a good day. Peace, kids.